Today we're going to check out a song by Ozzy Band the Angels called No Secrets. Hey, what's good, YouTube? Mike here, and this is Pro Guitarist Reacts. And uh, yeah, you heard me, right? We're going to check out the Angels. The song is called No Secrets. Um, this is my second song by them. The first was a live performance of uh, Am I Ever Going to See Your Face Again? And yes, I do know what uh, the crowd says now. And uh, thank you for letting me in on that. Uh, I don't want to curse, so I'm not going to say it right now. Um, so yeah, I have this other song also requested, so I thought I'd get into it. And um, why don't we get right to it? What do you guys think? Hit like and subscribe if you dig the vibe. And, uh, oh, hold on. I've got to get back to the screen. There we are. Almost there. Yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. The Angels. Let's do it. This is it, folks. Oh, I should mention, I don't remember what the brothers' names were, but there are two brothers that are part legendary members of the band, and they were not in the performance that I saw. So I am hoping that they are part of this performance. This is it, folks! All right, I like, this is like a classic type of chord progression, right? It's not, uh, yeah, you don't really hear these kinds of progressions anymore, especially from one chord to the two chord like that, those climbs. Very cool stuff, very cool stuff. Um, and the guitars definitely has a thicker presence than the uh, last performance that I saw. Uh, there was also a guitar in the uh, last one I saw, which... I don't think was a uh, only became part of the band I think uh, had only become part of the band recent relative to the time when that video was filmed okay word trickery there to get through that all right we're gonna check out go back a little bit and uh, get back to it You know what, I get like, uh, almost like I don't, I don't like Mondays kind of vibes, you know, that Bob Geldof, uh, I don't know, he has, Bob Geldof also has that way of, like he's singing a melody, but it, he's not really perfectly on pitch, so it really puts more emphasis on the words and the story, you know, because it, it has like a, a, a speak quality to it I'm finding the same with this guy in fact yeah it's totally giving me like a, a boomtown rats perhaps kind of vibe here she keeps no secrets from you she keeps no she keeps no she keeps no secrets from you she keeps no she keeps no 
There we go. Were those the brothers right there? They definitely had a, uh, a presence to them. Both these guys. Baseline is really cool. Um, damn, I forget uh, the singer's name. I should have looked that up. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, feel free to tell me again. I won't be offended. Um, <clears throat> he has like a, a very express way with his hands and stuff. Uh, trying to again, there's probably tons of better examples, but for some reason, Bono. Bono's coming to mind. As far as like, you know, Bono always like kind of has a hand up or something. I think it helps. I, I think it adds to the performance. She keeps no, she keeps no, she keeps no secrets from you. She keeps no, she keeps no. A bass. Oh, nice guitar. What the heck kind of guitar is that? I don't know. I do not know. Nice. Good scream. I could just tell by looking at his hands that uh, he would sound great playing on any guitar. He's got a great touch. He's got a great touch. Oh, my God, he's playing a Steinberger. I think he was playing a... There was somebody playing a Steinberger in the last video I saw as well. Maybe it's this, this is the same guy, probably. So cool in his... Uh, is that a bomber jacket? So yeah, I think was his name the singer's uh, name Doc? Is that right? Uh, and I, of course, I, from what I've heard, he's passed away. So rest in peace. Um, 
yeah, other things that uh, that I noticed about that performance were um, drums, high energy, right from the get-go. But such a different sound uh, than what we hear today. The drums didn't have all that, like, uh, um, presence. And uh, today, uh, drums tend to be scooped. All the middle frequencies, like 500 hertz, like that middle part of your EQ graph. I don't know if anyone's... Maybe you've seen a virtual EQ, EQ graph. 500 is like would be right in the middle. So if you made a, a V out of your EQ, that is almost what drums sound like today. And it makes them sound like a, uh, like very aggressive on the top end, but still gives them the bottom end, you know, helps them cut through the mix. But this is like a more natural sound uh, before, before that became, uh, you know, the industry standard. Some drummers were doing, were, sounded like that previously, but uh, that, that just became more and more the standard over the years. Um, other things, uh, the, I, I didn't notice the, the vocals too much. The ones that I did pick up, though, they seemed, it seemed like the story was, was a good story. Like I wanted to get into it. The music invited me in. I have to listen to it again. Uh, it's a shame I can't listen to these twice in these things because really sometimes it takes two listens to get uh, some deeper insight. Did my best, folks. I like this one. Yeah. This song seems like a more serious. It's a different side than the... Well, I think the other song was probably serious as well. It's just that with that crowd chant, it just gives it an element of fun that hard to ignore right yeah so anyways uh yeah let me know uh what your stories are your relationship with this song if you're from australia or if uh if you're not up from australia have you ever heard of this band before and if you haven't what do you think of them remember if you didn't like them that uh, you're probably in big trouble so yeah Anyways, I'm sure you did like them. Because why wouldn't you? That's what I'm saying. So, hit like and subscribe if you dig the vibe. Come back. We'll uh, check out some more Aussie pub rock bands. As is a, uh, you know, a habit around here. Yeah. It's a little rabbit hole we've been going down. We'll take a trip down that rabbit hole every once in a while. Today it's uh, the Angels. Tomorrow. Who knows? You got to ask, and then I will check it out. Uh, like, subscribe, we did that. Yo in the comments. Yo lets me know you made it to the end. People who don't stay to the end, you know, as far as I'm concerned, they're dead to me. So let me know that you're alive by putting a yo in the comments, and uh, then I can stop boring. For goodness sake. For goodness sake, just let me know you're okay. <laughs>